light painting. It is a technique used by photographers to draw some interesting patterns in a frame using a source of light. As a result, the camera will put together these interesting lights and form a beautiful patterns like you see in this video. This will be absolutely stunning and I love this technique. So in order to make this technique even more interesting, I have built a simple uh, color changing light painting stick that can be operated easily your smartphone or any other Wi-Fi enabled devices. Adding to this, using the custom color input feature, this light painting stick can display any color that is available on the web. Let's see how to build this. Let's take a look at the materials required to build this project. First you need your Arduino Uno, ESP8266 module, bidirectional logic shifter and uh, LED, uh, RGB LED strip and few connectors. And you will need your power bank in order to power this entire project. This RGB LED strip is based out of an integrated chip WS2812 which makes it easier for controlling the colors and lighting of the LED strip. Solder few wires to the strip and once it is done, apply some glue over it to make the wires rigid and firm. Next step would be sticking this RGB LED strip over this plastic tube with some sort of adhesive. Find a container that can hold all the components of this project. This cylindrical container will fit my purpose. At the top, I am going to insert the light painting stick which we have prepared earlier. To do this, I have marked with a black sketch at the top of the container the direction at which the LED stick is going to face. Then I have extended that line to the bottom of the container. I am doing this because this will help me later in placing the components inside this container. Put a hole at the top of the container lid so that the light painting stick will fit into it. Insert the light stick into this hole and glue it using a glue gun. Allow it to settle for some time and your light painting stick part will be finally ready. I've used simple velcro patches to put it around the power bank to hold it firmly in the container. The power bank is pretty heavy and I don't want it to move while the project is in operation. Use the glue gun to wrap the velcro patches tightly around the power bank. Repeat this and you will you would have prepared the power bank completely. Mark and cut out the velcro patches to an appropriate length. Place the cut out velcro patches inside the container. Now stick the power bank to the velcro patches and make sure it won't move when it is in operation. Place the switch over the container so that it faces away from the light painting stick. Once it is done, connect the stripped USB cable to the terminals of the switch. Add the two indicator LEDs and corresponding resistors to it. Referring the circuit diagram, I have connected Arduino with ESP8266 module. Now upload the code into Arduino. Refer the link in the description to obtain the code. Once it is done, place the Arduino and ESP modules into the container and you are almost set with your project. Connect all the elements together and close the lid of the container and you are all set. Once it is done, cover the outside of the container with a black tape. It is to insulate and avoid unnecessary light interference. The project is now ready for testing. I am going to use my mobile phone for this purpose. Turn on the hotspot in your mobile device and then turn on the project. You should see the red color LED light up. Wait for the green color LED to light up. This indicates that the server is created. 
Open the browser in your mobile device and search for the address 192.168.43.253. Arduino will then respond with the web page. As you can see, this web page is going to be the web interface for controlling the LED light. Using these buttons, you can control the color of the LED strip. These buttons are there to set some basic colors like red, blue, green, yellow and such. As you can see, as I go from one button to another button, you can see the color is switching from one to one to another. And here comes the most favorite of all, rainbow. Apart from these, the most highlighting part of this project is its custom color input. Using the RGB color code of any color, you can produce that color in the RGB LED strip. I have now given input of it, the RGB color and it produced some beautiful lighting effect. Using this project, photographers will have full control over the light and he can produce any color of his desire. This is it. Go and have fun with light painting. Hope you guys like the video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.